New details emerging about who is responsible for a pair of abandoned cemeteries where animals are digging up graves. It's a story we first brought to you yesterday. Neighbors of the Adams and Rogers cemeteries are complaining to the county and state after seeing body bags dug up and exposed. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick has more. Adams and Rogers cemeteries are two of the three abandoned cemeteries in Manatee County. They've been abandoned for decades and no one owns this land, but still the burials keep happening. The problem's not solved. Funeral director Doug Koval was at Adams and Rogers cemeteries when these body bags were discovered being dug out of the ground by some type of animal. Well, there was an odor, which was an attractant, I guess, to the animals. Covell, one of many funeral directors that still buries the deceased in the Adams and Rogers cemeteries. State law doesn't prohibit burials in abandoned cemeteries like these. We either use a burial vault or a steel casket. And when you close it, it locks. And with Covell Funeral Home, the bodies are buried literally six feet under. But other funeral directors say that's not the case with some of D. Allen Moore's clients that are also buried in the Adams and Rogers cemeteries and marked with these white crosses. I don't think they were buried deep enough. If an animal can unearth uh, a graveside, I mean, uh, obviously it's not buried enough. Moore disputes that. He told me on the phone he buries the deceased with at least 12 inches of topsoil. That, according to experts, is legal. And there's provision in there that says the body has to be buried at least 12 inches below the covering soil to the part of the casket. In this case, it's to the top of the body bag or fiberboard that Moore says can disintegrate in just weeks. It doesn't cost much more to do it the right way. With no one owning the land, Manatee County has been maintaining the properties. Basically, it helps uh, folks who have uh, broken the law or, or misdemeanors to do community service and, and offer some hard labor, labor to the county. And so we put those folks to work maintaining properties just like this. But it's not the county's land. That is simply a public service they provide. It's kind of a, a goodwill gesture to the community that, that over time, again, has come to the county. According to the state, there's no law that says a specific entity has to take over when these cemeteries are abandoned. Oftentimes, it will be the families of the individuals who are buried here, or oftentimes local or county government will take over. Again, that's not the case here at Adams and Rogers. Reporting in Bradenton, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you so much, Jess.